Namaste and welcome to React Bits. Flutter is awesome because of its packages and plugins as well as its tooling. And most of the time we use various packages and plugins to get the functionality that we require. And sometimes we may have to write our own packages and plugins. So in this episode, we are going to look at top 20 packages that I most frequently use in my Flutter projects or that makes my life easier with developing various functionalities in Flutter apps. I'll show what they are and what do I use them for? What functionality do I get from those packages and plugins? Somewhere in the middle, I have a bonus package a tool for you that is immensely useful for you to get feedbacks from your testers or even live users in your production applications. So let us get started. The first, the very first package is not a package, single package, but a package ecosystem that is Flutter Fire package ecosystem. And the Flutter Fire packages are a complete packages, set of packages for Firebase related services. And I develop various apps with Flutter and Firebase. So I have, I use these plugins a lot of times in my application and my most frequently used Firebase services are analytics, authentication, Firestore, messaging, storage, Firebase Core, of course, now it's a necessary dependency and Crasslytics as well. I rarely use Firebase database. Uh, I'm yet to use dynamic links and in-app messaging and I have not yet used ML vision or performance. I do use remote config and I guess I have not yet used cloud functions for Flutter as well. So this is my first set of plugins that I use mostly in my applications because I work a lot with Flutter and Firebase. Next. So working with Flutter and Firebase, I have developed a set of simple classes that I can use to interface with Cloud Firestore and that is available under this Firebase helpers package. And most of the time what we are doing is whenever we are querying database and getting some items, we are converting those data from maps to our data classes. And for that, I have created these helper package that provides some easier query methods as well as that each time we query the database, it automatically returns the items in the format of data classes that we define here using this database service general class. You can try it. The examples are provided also in a medium article that I wrote about this. And also I have used it a lot in my tutorials. Next table calendar. I have tons of tutorial regarding this. So whenever you require a calendar in your application, then this I found is the most suitable calendar or most useful calendar that is highly customizable and that's that has lots of features. Also, please, if you find a better replacement for the plugins and packages that I'm using that I'm demonstrating here for the purpose, like if you find a better calendar package, please let me know in the comments because I'd like to try them. I've been using some of these plugins for more than a year. So there might already be a better replacement for these plugins. So please let me know if you find any better re replacement for these plugins and packages. Right now animator. So I'm not as good in animations and design stuffs. So this animator package is what I use for 
getting animations easily to do animations easily using this package we don't have to define animation controllers we can even write complex animations with multiple animations that work simultaneously or that work one after another i have a i also have a tutorial regarding this animator package do check it out also this is awesome i i believe this will help a lot for beginners who are struggling with animations next hive so for offline catching offline data storage i use hive instead of sql or sqlite so hive with hive we can easily write and read our custom objects as well so if we have a custom data classes and list of or and those data from those classes without converting them to map or any structured variables we can easily save them using our custom adapters and there are already adapters for basic data types like integers strings and those kind of things and we can add our own adapter for our own custom objects so it's easy to work with and it is reactive so that we can read and write reactively directly from our ui as well do try it provider and river pod this is another set of plugins that i use mostly in my applications for state management so for state management there are tons of tools i know uh, there there may be other tools like uh, block or getx but they all have their differences and i prefer to use provider and riverpod because they are easier for me i understand it and it solves what i need in my application so do try them out i also have tutorials regarding riverpod check it out camera awesome so the, this is another plugin that i just found recently it's still under work but it's already better than the official camera plugin so it supports custom functionalities like live camera flip no initialization needed instant focus device flash support zoom full screen or sized box preview wizard complete example so taking picture and video recording is for ios only but they are working it so we can hope that it will be available soon for android as well for video recording apart from that other features are already working on android and i believe we can see the progress here what functionalities are already implemented so auto focus device flash live switching zoom level taking a picture complete example full screen and sized box preview e to e test exposure level broadcast live image so what remains is focus on a specific point and record video on android so i believe this is an awesome plugin or package and i will soon have a tutorial for this as well because i just found out about it and i will use it maybe we'll build a camera application sometime later in other episodes next Flutter Swiper. So this is another best plugin that I have been using for almost one and a half year now, and it is for creating these kind of carousels or even intro pages or even stacks like Tinder and some other slides. So it is highly customizable. We can even create our own custom layouts instead of these original layouts. We can customize everything in this. So. I highly recommend this. I think I have a tutorial regarding this as well. So please check them out and do try this package. Next, Advanced PDF Fu Flutter. So this is one of the fork of Flutter plugin PDF Viewer that I created because it was lacking some of the features that I required. So you can even use the original one if you like. And this is the easiest one that i found this flutter plugin pdf viewer was the easiest one that i found and it was not updated for quite some time so i forked, forked it and created an updated version so it can be used to load 
any PDF documents and display it. So you can load from assets, you can load from URL or you can load from file and display it in your application. And you can either use a inbuilt PDF viewer or by using a PDF document that is returned, you can develop your own viewer using Flutter widgets. So you can check the code for PDF viewer. It simply is a combination of Flutter widgets as this document all pages are returned as emails. Next, Flutter icons. And this is another complete set of icons package. So inspired by React Native vector icons, it is it bundles a tons of icon sets like and design, in typo, evil icons, feather, font awesome, font awesome five, foundation, iron icons, material icons. Wow, there are tons of them and they are supported. I believe this is another awesome package. Next, device info and package info plugin. So I use this in all of my production applications to get a details about users, device and current package info, package versions installed in their device. So this is the both of these are official packages wow and it's nice to see device info has reached a stable version and package info i believe is getting there so backward compatible version 1.0 is coming and do try this and do use this because you need to have some kind of information about your users so what kind of device they are using which package they have installed based on this you can even send them push notification to update their apps if whenever new updates are available those kind of things can be done i have a tutorial regarding these packages as well do check them out another intel so this package is highly used for internationalization localization and date formatting number formatting locales those kind of things i mostly use it for date and time formatting in my applications but yeah, this can be used for internationalizations and localizations as well. Next, this is a bonus. So I have a bonus for you. This is not only a package, but it is a product wired as from a great team. And this is for getting real time feedbacks from your users or from your testers right from the applications with the screenshots. And you can see that they can overlay, they can draw pictures, they can indicate which part they are having problems with or they can indicate which parts they are happy with, they can send you feedback and this has a nice dashboard that you can use to read all of those feedbacks. You can even integrate with Slack to get notifications whenever you receive feedbacks. So do use this package. I'm telling you, I'm not getting any one year i'm not selling this because i'm getting paid for this but this is a great product we are using in some of our applications so do try it out and i'm really thankful for the developers who developed these packages and plugins next email speaker again another official plugin that we can use to pick images and video files from our application application using the native pickers. So I already have a tutorial regarding this. Uh, I believe it's image picking and cropping. So do try it out. Next permission handler. So in our application, we need to request for permissions. Whenever user denies permissions, we need to notify them that they have denied the permission. Those kind of stuffs have to be done and this is one of the best plugin and i believe this is one of the first plugin to solve those problems and i have been using it since beginning maybe one and a half year and this is hugely effective plugin it had some issues initially with ios that some permissions even we if we were not using we had to request those permissions but i believe those are fixed and this is a great package Next, HTTP and maybe some of you prefer DO over this, uh, but I still like to use HTTP and this package I use for REST API 
access so whenever i want to query any apis i use http package but yes some of my applications do use do in them as well next flutter slidable again another great package for ui that you get slide actions in your list items so whenever in list items you want slidable actions you can slide from left to right right to left you can add different kinds of actions you can even add dismissable actions like the default dismissable widget so this is another awesome package do try it out next you are a launcher i believe if you are doing flutter you all know this because this is simply used to launch any supported urls in default application so whenever we want say launch a chrome from our application we can simply use this url launcher package and this is also an official package next catched network image so whenever in my applications i use network images i use this package instead of default network image pa network image widget this is because this catches the image and we can even show error widgets placeholder widgets those kind of things so i really like this plugin i have used it in many of my applications next audio players so in order to play audio or even audio streams i use this plugin and this was one of the beginning plugins that i found because i have been using it for more than one and a half years and this has been working for me and it's a great plugin you can play local audios you can play audio streams from urls so it's a good plugin next share so whenever you want to share text even images in default applications you can use this share package and this is also the official package and backward compatible version stable version is coming that's great so do try this plugin because it's mobile applications are incomplete if you don't allow your users to share the information with other applications i believe this is the end so first i'd like to thank all of the huge contributors that have made all of these awesome toolings awesome packages and plugins that have made my flutter journey a bliss and i request all of you try some of these packages you may like them also if you find a better replacement for whatever package and plugin that i am using currently please do suggest them in the comments thank you everyone and see you again in the next episode